We start with a couple of row operations on the given determinant, which defines fx. The first row operation is to replace r1 with r1 minus sec x times r3. And the second row operation is to replace r2, the second row, with r2 minus cos square x times r3. Therefore, in the first row, the first element is equal to sec x minus sec x times cos square x, which is sec x minus sec x. The second element is cos x minus cos square x times sec x. And the third element is sec square x plus cot x cosec x minus cos square x times sec x. In the second row, the first element is cos square x minus cos square x. The second element is cos square x minus cos x raised to the power 4. And the third element is equal to cos x square x minus cos x raised to the power 4. The third row is left as is. The elements are 1 cos square x and cos square x. In the first row, the first element is equal to 0. In the second row, the first element is equal to 0. In the first row, the second element again simplifies to 0. Now in the first column, all the elements except the third are 0. Therefore, we pivot about the element in the first column and the third row. And therefore, the value of fx is equal to 0 times cos x square x minus cos x raised to the power 4 minus cos square x minus cos x raised to the power 4 times in brackets sec square x plus cot x cosec x minus cos square x times sec x. This simplifies to minus cos square x times 1 minus cos square x times in brackets sec square x plus cot x cosec x minus cos x. 1 minus cos square x is equal to sin square x and therefore fx is equal to minus cos square x times sin square x times in brackets 1 upon cos square x plus cos x upon sin x times 1 upon sin x minus cos x. This simplifies to minus sin square x minus cos cube x plus cos cube x times sin square x and this is equal to minus sin square x minus cos cube x plus cos cube x times 1 minus cos square x. Cos cube x cancels and therefore the value of fx simplifies to minus sin square x minus cos x raised to the power 5. Therefore integral of fx between the limits 0 and pi upon 2 is equal to minus integral 0 to pi upon 2 sin square x dx minus integral 0 to pi upon 2 cos x raised to the power 5 dx. Now recall the standard result for definite integrals. Integral 0 to pi upon 2 sin x raised to the power n times cos x raised to the power m dx is equal to gamma n plus 1 upon 2 times gamma m plus 1 upon 2 divided by 2 times gamma m plus n plus 2 upon 2. Using this result, the value of integral 0 to pi upon 2 fx dx is equal to minus gamma 3 upon 2 times gamma half divided by 2 gamma 2 minus gamma of 6 upon 2 times gamma half divided by 2 times gamma of 7 upon 2. This is equal to minus of half of gamma half which is equal to square root of pi times square root of pi again divided by 2 times 1 minus gamma of 6 upon 2 which is gamma 3 which is equal to 2 times 1 times gamma half which is root of pi divided by 2 times gamma 7 upon 2 and gamma 7 upon 2 is equal to 5 upon 2 times 3 upon 2 times half times root pi. This simplifies and therefore the value of the desired integral is equal to minus pi upon 4 minus 8 upon 15. This can be written as minus 15 pi minus 32 divided by 60 and this is the required answer.